Hey guys, welcome back. Hope your Tuesday went well. We, uh, we ended up being a little red today. Uh, the spy credit spread we have that expires on Wednesday, um, it kind of jumped all over the place. And then the spy kind of ripped. So we were green because this was up like 100 bucks, I think, 120, and now it's negative 90. So pretty flat day. Um, we're down $38 in the day. After hours kept going down. Not sure why. Um, I'm getting this video out a little late, so it's actually the next morning. However, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys what happened today. So Square looks like it kept going. Um, it's continued to go up a little bit. Yeah, 2.8% yesterday. So this thing is getting getting better every day. Not really. We had this dip, but I think it's still trending up. Um, so yeah, I'll start of that once we've got max gain. If you watched my other video. Uh, so you know how to get max gain on a debit spread. Uh, I just uploaded it on Tuesday. So I titled it, How to Know Your Max Gain on Debit Spreads. And that's what I'm waiting for on this, because let's see, today, what's that, 96? It's this one, on this one, it's 396 is my max gain for two contracts. Um, But yeah, this SPY credit spread. So yeah, you saw this is pretty much the SPY. Um... This is how SPY looked today, on Tuesday. And at this point, you know, when it when it was up here, when it market opened higher, I thought about just selling this out when it when I could. And then I could have down here, and I would have actually I would have made a little profit even. But then I wasn't able to keep watching the market. I had to take off, and the SPY reversed, and now it's closed up here, and now this thing's lost value. So lost ninety bucks yesterday. Um. And down 180 total so we'll see where the spy opens on Wednesday um, this one we'll see on Wednesday I might close it out um, and not wait till it expires because I'm not sure if the spy will stay below 345 uh, really depends on where it opens and I guess the pal pal talking to could have an effect on it typically from what I've seen the few times I've seen pal speak is that uh, he makes the spy go down, so I don't know if I'll wait that long, but hopefully that's the case. There's just no resistance up here, so it was kind of sketchy having a close, having a the spy credit spread this close to where the sh the strike price already was. But we'll see. I might close it out uh, early during the day because yeah, I guess the max max loss is 1,800, which I don't think we get to there, but um, it's possible. So. Might close it out early for a little bit of a loss or no loss or a gain. We'll see, but I might close it out before market uh, closes and it expires. Uh, just because I've I've been ten or eleven for eleven, and if I'm eleven for one. That's that's not bad, especially if I can only have a little loss, like hundred dollar loss or something. Because these mostly make me between hundred and two hundred dollars each time I do it, and that usually takes about a day or two from when I open it to when it's expired. So yeah, that's the SPY credit spread. Not a whole lot else changed in here. NCLH, uh, you know, the travel stocks went down. So here we go, the calls went up. My covered calls went up. So that's fine and dandy, but then my share prices, you know, I lost money on those. So space, I was up over, no, was it space? Oh, actually, NCLH, I was up, and I, I thought about buying uh, or selling my call back or buying my call back that I have sold up here so that I could sell the shares because I was up on it. But I thought, you know, NCLH moves quite a bit. I might just keep kind of doing the wheel with it. Um, I'll wait for this one to expire and maybe sell some puts on it again. Because out, out of the cruises, it seems like NCLH, the option prices kind of hold premium. They kind of uh, stay pretty high. So... I think that's a pretty good one to sell premium on. So I might just keep kind of flipping this one around. Um, same with space. Both of these, like, I wouldn't necessarily want NCLH in long term space. I kind of feel like I do, but I know both of them, it seems like the premium stays pretty high on them because they're pretty volatile right now. So it's maybe a good one to keep flipping around with the wheel, selling premium, selling puts, getting 100 shares, selling covered calls, selling the shares back and forth. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure when this will, I don't know if this will ever have like a quick reversal. It might just be a slow, steady 
come back up to where it was maybe pre-covid let's see february yeah so it's over here you know it used to be 51 dollars. used to be expensive so um i think it could make it back up there someday but that might not be another that could be six months that could be a year i'm not sure so uh yeah i mean some of the pre-covid stocks at this point are way higher you know the ones that COVID actually favored like uh tech it's all this is a good representation actually if you see you know this is cruising along slowly growing and then this is COVID hitting and then this one stayed quite flat and this is how pretty much all the travel are American Airlines Norwegian now if we look at something like Square which was a tech company where when people are staying home they have to use other forms of transaction um other ways to tr exchange money they're not going to work whatever whatever the case <laughs> look at this got nice nice growth COVID hits oh man everything crashes but wait it's square look at this thing it was back to its all-time highs in june look at july and august look at this so this is how quite a few of the other charts look on uh tech tech type companies stuff that just really benefited from a stay-at-home type thing Look at Etsy, same deal. The COVID hit around here, didn't really affect it, and then it dropped down a little later. But now look at it. It's crazy. I think another one. I mean, Zoom is, that was kind of a fluke thing where everyone's using the video conferencing. So this one never really had like this crazy dip and then run up. But yeah, you can see it's just kind of crazy. Zoom, zoom. Um, but yeah, so they would, with the airlines and travels, I don't know if they're going to just shoot up anytime. It'll probably be slow and, slow and eventual. Uber is another one you can actually see that with. Well, actually, no, Uber hasn't come back because it's travel. But yeah, here's February. It's plummeted. It came back just because it's, I don't know, tech and growth and Uber Eats. And there's, there's other things that are holding this up. Now it's kind of looked like it's trending back down. But uh, yeah, for that's it for today for Wednesday. Like I said, I might be closing this out early. We'll see. Um, we've got Pal talking, so I don't think I'm going to open up another credit spread on any of my accounts just until Pal speaks and I know what's going to go on with the spy and because I'm a little uncertain. I might open them up on Thursday for the Friday expiration. But that's all I got for you. Hopefully you guys were better off than me with the spy credit spread and maybe a little more green than this. Um, Thanks for watching. Sub up, like up, comment down, make your money, happy money, so it'll stick around. Peace out, folks.